Hey, welcome back to my stamp room. And today I'm going to show you a little technique with some of the um, first edition DSP. And we're going to stamp on it, but before we do, we're going to do a little uh, something to it. So let me show you what I did to this card. I am just have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is going to be your card base. And this is four and a quarter by 11. We'll put that to the side. <clears throat> and then I took a piece of our first edition DSP and this is just a 4x4 four four piece and a little bit of gesso and I'm going to use a little paintbrush and brush over this. I wanted to stamp on this uh, DSP. I love this DSP and you know that because I use it all the time. But I wanted it more of a white background and the gesso is a really nice surface to uh, stamp on. <clears throat> so I'm just going to layer this whole piece and then let it sit and dry for a few minutes. Since I already have a piece already done, we'll just put this to the side and work with the piece I have done. Now one of the things you may notice <clears throat> after you paint it, it may curl up a little bit. and one of the things that you can do is just take your bone folder and loosen up the fibers a little bit. But now you can see the print is not so uh, bright. We've toned it down a little bit with that gesso and now we can just stamp on it. And before I even do that, I think what I'll do is go ahead and do a little tearing. I'm just going to tear on all four sides gently, not a lot, because I still need a, a good sized piece. Oh, I gotta, I gotta save this typewriter, just a little bit of it. I really do love tearing paper, it's quite uh, it's a feel good feeling. <clears throat> Alright, let's put that to the side and let's stamp. Now I'm going to use the Stippled Blossoms stamp set beautiful stamp set um, with some roses. Um, I love it. We're going to start off with a pink pirouette. And this is a two-step stamp. So let's get the paint off of the stamp first. We're just going to ink this up. Now the pink pirouette, I'm going to be honest, you're not going to see it really well. But I just wanted a light, just a light. See, ooh, that's pretty. I'm using the solid stamp first. I'm just going to stamp another one down over this way. <clears throat> and the next color we're going to use is the primrose petals. So pretty. And this one we'll use the solid. I mean the outlined. Put that. Now the great thing about two-step stamping is it does not have to be perfect. So remember that. Now your ink may be a little slick when you do this, so you want to give it just a little bit of time to dry just a wee bit. And then lastly, we're going to do some leaves. I'm going to use my solid leaves first, and I'm using gumball green. Now before I stamp the leaves full on, I'm going to go ahead and just stamp off a little bit. And let's see, I'll put a couple here. And then I'll put, oh, let's put another one down here. Perfect. Now let's do the outlined and really define those stems and leaves. Oh, pretty. And one more right there. <clears throat> now, just to give this piece a little bit more uh, definition on the Whisper White, I will take a sponge and a little bit of, well you have your choice, soft suede, uh, early espresso, or even the chocolate chip. I'm going to choose soft suede. And I'm going to gently, just on the edges, actual edge, go around and sponge that. Almost to give it that, you know, burnty look. What I like about the gesso too, it has a little bit of shine where the ink is. It's kind of pretty. Alright, so we have a little burnt edge around the sides. 
Last thing we're going to do, oops, still need that soft suede. I'm going to use um, this little stamp set, Friends. And I'm actually going to put it, let's see if it'll fit right up here. Sure. Perfect. Okie dokes. I'm going to curl this a little bit. Now you can see my hands are wet, so you can see a little bit of, uh, you got to let this ink dry when it's on the, <clears throat> the gesso, so just be aware of that. But it almost looks like it's watercolored. I likey. All right, perfect. Next, I'm going to add some dimensionals. What I do with my, oh, there's my card. Funny how things can get lost in my stamp room very fast. I'm just going to put a few of these on the back. And we're going to put this right on the front. We're going to add a little of the rose red um, seam binding ribbon. I'm just going to put a little mini glue dot there. I'm going to put that on, oh, about like that. And the last thing I did was I just added a few. Um, this card looks so uh, delicate and the vintage faceted buttons. I love these. And I think it just adds a little bit of something something to a card. So we're going to add some of those too. And let's see, where can we put another one? Put another one right there. <clears throat> and on top of those, what's nice to add is one of these little pearls. So let's put a pearl right on there. And there you go, a nice simple card, but changed up a bit with that gesso. So just do a little white gesso on your first edition DSP and you created something different. Have a great day.